Today I filmed 5 random points during Major League Pickleball, featuring the most elite pickleball pros in the game. Studying the gameplay of people better than you is an excellent way to improve because there is always something to learn no matter what happens. So let's hop right into the first point. In this first point we have JW and Gabriel Tardio versus Dekel and Kyle Yates. And this is an interesting one because of the speed up that's about to happen. So this is the fifth shot. Uh, check out this drop by JW. Just kind of a very basic one, but notice how low his paddle is to the ground. Paddle tip below the ball. That way you can brush up on the backside of it. Hit a nice topspin drop. And uh, he's going to aim for that center of the court. Typically when you aim for someone's backhand like this, they don't have a lot of offense that they can generate. But Kyle is a master of speed ups. So check out this speed up that he hits. Gets his paddle head below the ball again, brushes up the backside of that ball and initiates a speed up. Gabriel and JW both go for it, which is what they definitely should have both done. Gabriel gets there first. Gets it back at Kyle, who uh, maybe could have reset this or you know probably would have liked to get that ball a little bit lower. But pops up a little high. And then look at this finish from Gabriel. This is something I've been trying to learn myself. Uh, just having no tennis background, it's not very natural. But a two-handed backhand finish up high and to counterbalance himself, look at his left leg. That left leg goes back, counterbalance um, his momentum going across his body, and that way he can get a lot of power and still stay out of the kitchen. But a great finish from him. Puts it away. The second point of the day is Julian Arnold and Thomas Wilson versus Stefan and AJ. Uh, and this was another really interesting one. First of all, look at AJ's inside out forehand roll. Gets the paddle tip below the ball, but he also makes his wrist rotate out to the right so he can hit this ball inside out instead of usually how he would hit it down the middle. He hits it to the outside of the court, uh, but Julian is a master at the game. Resets that ball super clean, and let's see what happens after this. AJ, in classic AJ fashion, gets super low to the ground, Speeds up this ball right at Thomas, his cousin. Uh, gets it kind of high, so Thomas is able to smack that ball back down at them with a lot of force. But defended pretty well by Stefan. Kind of jammed him there, but he did a good job of getting his paddle on the ball and hitting it into a nice spot. AJ then hits a dink cross court with his very unique style. Once again, love how low he gets to the ground. Something I definitely aspire to do is get this low and dinking. It's super athletic, staring right at the ball and hitting a very well executed shot with an extremely small motion. Play continues here and this is one of AJ's special shots. So the ball's hit to his left side and instead of taking it as a backhand, he'll run around to his forehand and then hit an inside out dink really hard cross court. But look what happens here. Check this out. Bang, super simple winner from Julian, and uh, let's break that one down. Because AJ ran around this ball, he's actually now off the court a little bit. Julian gets to his backhand. Stefan goes for an Ernie, and Julian, recognizing the situation, hits one of the most beautiful two-handed backhand speedups I've ever seen. Look at that, such a small motion. Brushing up the backside of the ball, just a couple of frames, and stops his momentum almost immediately, getting right back into the court ready just in case it does come back but an amazing speed up by him check this out one more time bang super nice the third point we have jesse and georgia versus lena and yana and in this point i wanted to break down a system that lena and yana are running right here so typically in pickleball you'd want to run some sort of offensive system targeting one player and they choose for this point to target georgia and how they're going to do that is just keep dinking to her backhand Hopefully giving Yana a chance to Ernie just in case Georgia goes down the line. And then Lena is going to lean middle looking to take a ball out of the air. But you'll see what happens here. So here's exactly what they're looking for. Georgia sitting on her backhand. Yana sees the opportunity. Looks for the Ernie. But Georgia has been here a time or two. So she gets that ball all the way back to the middle. And they do it another time. Same exact thing. Looks for the Ernie. But takes it cross court. And then finally, Lena gets it a little bit too high. Georgia takes it out of the air with a beautiful roll. Look how far that paddle face is down below the ball. And then hits a perfectly placed speed up to Yana's right down the line. Recovers super fast. Hands battle breaks out. And then Lena takes a step back as she tries to hit that ball. Kind of getting off balance. And ends up putting it into the net. 
but I thought that was really cool to see that system in place uh, at this high of a level, looking to, to target that backhand, giving this person an earning opportunity, and then giving this person a chance to be aggressive in the middle. Okay, fourth point, we're back to J-Dub and Gabriel versus Deckel and Kyle. This one's a super simple one. So J-Dub has this very unique style of dinking, loads up very low to the ground, paddle tip below the ball. Right now he's looking like he's going to hit it to the left side, so Kyle's sitting on his backhand here just in case he speeds it up at his shoulder. And then at the last second, he rotates his wrist out to hit it to the right of Deckel instead. And Deckel recognizes that almost immediately. And you can see him leaning, 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 looking for the Ernie. Goes for it, smacks it with a backhand right down the middle. But what I really love about this point is Deckel loading up on that left leg, getting ready to get back into the point just in case that ball comes back. He's a very smart dude. He understands that there's a good chance these guys get that ball back. And if they do get it back, he wants to be ready. There's a lot of times when I'm hitting Ernie's where I'll go for it and then I'll just end up off the court for like a solid second or two rather than getting right back into the play. So this is a great lesson right here, something I need to implement to my own game. In this fifth and final point, we're going to see how to handle people that do go for Ernie's a lot against you. We have Jay Davillier and Simone Jargim versus Callie Smith and Andre Deescu. And Andre is one of the best earners in the entire game. He goes for them all the time. He's super long, very good at them. And we're gonna see how Simone handles that. So Jay hits a fifth shot drop uh, back to Callie. As soon as he hits this drop, he starts to move in because he knows he hits a good drop. And then look how he split steps right there. He's now planted, ready to defend as soon as Callie's about to hit this ball. Hits it to his backhand, and once again, you're going to see a player get their paddle head below the ball. And this time, he takes it off the short hop. Barely gets it over the net. Would like to probably have a little more margin there for him. But I'm sure he was happy that one went across. And then Callie, now knowing who she has on her side of the court, Andre, looking for an Ernie. She hits it to Simone's forehand, hoping that maybe she'll hit a dink down the line. Um, but instead, Simone, very smart here, what she does, anticipating that Andre is about to come across and look for the Ernie. She just tries to hit him right in the chest with a speed up. And you'll see it completely jams him. His foot's actually in the kitchen. He was not expecting that at all. And of course, they get really happy and celebrate. But look at Simone. Even after she hits this speed up, she was not expecting it to be a winner. She immediately reloads to her backhand, looking to put that ball away just in case Andre does get that ball back. But that's a great way to defend or counter against people who are looking to Ernie against you a lot. Just hit it at their chest pretty hard, like a speed up. And uh, I guess it'll teach them not to go for it as much. But there is a good chance that he still does complete the Ernie and takes that ball out of the air for a clean winner. But it is a good defense. That's it, guys. Five quick points. Hope you enjoyed that. I learn a lot from doing these every single time. I hope you do too. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.